Okay guys, so today we're gonna be doing something new. We're doing an outdoor gym training session, we're doing chest with none other than, you guys asked me, so many people commented, say hello to Freeze Man. What up, what up? So this guy is a local from the Gold Coast, so he's telling me all about just life here, and uh, the gym, the environment, the everything, and so we're gonna hit up a everything good, everything I need to know. And we're gonna be hitting up a chest workout, we'll show you some stuff, hopefully, I, I don't know if he's a, like, you know, Stronger than me yet, so hopefully not. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to. Like, not right now. I'm gonna edit everything out. I'm gonna like Photoshop all of his weights down by like 40%. So the interesting thing about today is that since we're training in this outdoor gym, they got a full gym downstairs too. They got all the machines, the weights, the squats, everything. But up here, it's only access to we got a basic squat rack, so we can do like squats, deadlifts, compound exercises, uh, bench press, incline, decline, all that stuff. And then there's also we got a weight set in terms of dumbbells goes up to like 47 and a half kilos. I think it's like 100, 110 pounds. So the interesting thing is that we're doing a very basic workout in terms of equipment. A lot of you guys always ask me, hey Igor, you know, I, I work out at a bad gym or hey Igor, I work out at a home gym. You know, I have some basic free weights, some basic access to equipment, but I don't have like all this crazy like isolateral horizontal Cybex Smith machine. And you know what? This video is for you guys. This video is gonna show you how you can have a good upper body push chest workout without crazy amounts of equipment. Normally I'm using kind of a combination of both. I'll have some free weight stuff, some dumbbells, for, uh, some barbells, but then, you know, near the end of my workout, I might do some like, you know, horizontal pushing kind of stuff, Smith machine kind of stuff, or like a pec deck. So this workout, we're not gonna be able to do that. We're gonna have to substitute with something else and you guys will have a good idea of what you can do if you ever have to make, you know, substitutions in your workout because of equipment shortages. You got this. Yes, yes, yes! Oh, the fucking, the little fucking cheeky couple of millimeters there got me. Now the hardest bit, guys, is racking it. What do you reckon, Igor? We got like, maybe like less, than, less than a centimeter like to, literally on each of side. leeway in there. This place is perfect for like no ego lifting. You lifted your ego, you might get the weight up, you're not going to rack it. That's not <laughs> happening. You need like pinpoint precision. <laughs> oh, look at that shit. Come on. Yes, yes. Uh, well, it's risky business, Igor. I'll Should help I you out. I got you covered. You got the one arm spot? I got the one arm spot. No. no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Fuck. <laughs> Spotter of the year. Spotter <laughs> of the year, Igor. <laughs> you gotta do it for the YouTubes. Is it recording still? Yeah, yeah, it still is, yeah. I gotta tell people, guys, I'm currently just coming out of a bulk, so if you guys are like, fuck, freeze, Igor, what are you guys doing? We're, we've just, you've just come out of your bulk, too. Right? Yeah, that's it. This is like cutting day two. So, don't judge us too hard. You know, I know we're not in peak form just yet, but you guys just wait. Excuses, little bitch! I'm sick. See, guys, Ego was not used to my, my saying cunts quite yet, so... Prisma, I find that highly offensive. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Vitrune Physique. Thank you for stopping by today for a special collab. By the way, we actually filmed this video, it's been a while, it was like a month ago, but I didn't want to put it up because literally after this, like a week later, I was collabing with Student Aesthetics and I didn't want to bombard my channel with like collab, 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 collab. So I've saved it up until now and I thought I would release it. So for the record, I'm looking a lot leaner right now as opposed to in that video. So today I want to talk about something which I feel is pretty important. A lot of times clients 
or you guys, you know, in the comments section or people send me messages, emails. There's just, point is I hear a lot of times from you guys, the people that follow me, the people that support me. One of the biggest problems I see is that a lot of you guys don't have access to the best equipment when it comes to the gym. Most of the workout you guys are seeing right now, we did on the upstairs on the roof. And that was pretty much literally just a set of weights. There was some dumbbells, barbells, and that's it. Afterwards, we went downstairs into the bottom of the gym where they actually had more equipment. We did some additional machine work, but that's beyond the point. What I want to educate you guys on today is not necessarily tell you, here's a list of exercises you can do, and here's a list of substitutions you can do, because that video would be like a hundred like hours long and there's just no point of it. So what I wanna tell you guys more so is a way of thinking that way you guys can go out there and make these substitutions yourself. You know the whole thing about like give a guy a fish versus teach a guy to fish? This is me teaching you guys to fish. That way you can go out there and make these exercise substitutions yourself should you not have access to the best gym equipment. Or maybe you do, but the machine you wanted is being used and you talk to the guy and he's like, oh, I've got 17 sets left. And you're like, okay, I can waste like 30 minutes waiting or I can just mix this substitution and go do something else. For example, in this workout, we started off with incline barbell press, a fantastic basic free weight exercise for your upper pectorals. Afterwards, we wanted to work out our general pectorals, our general chest, so we did dumbbell press. Again, perfectly good, normal, heavy compound exercises using only free weights. Now, usually my go-to preferred exercise afterwards is some kind of flying movement and I'll use like a machine or oftentimes I'll do cable crossovers. However, in this case, we simply substituted it with dumbbell incline um, flies or you can do dumbbell flat fries. Flat fries, fat fries. Oh, I can go for some fries right now. Dumbbell flat flies. Now for triceps, I didn't film it in this workout, but there's a lot of other things you can do. You don't need some kind of fancy machinery work. You know, just off the top of my head, excellent good um, tricep exercise, which also works out your pecs a little bit, is the dips. You can do it body weight, or if you need additional resistance, you can hold a small dumbbell uh, in between your legs, or you can actually put a belt around and then attach with like a chain or something, like an extra 10, 20, 30, 100 pounds, whatever you need, and, you know, depending on how strong you are. In addition for triceps, you can also do something like dumbbell tricep kickbacks, or seated overhead dumbbell tricep extensions. I forget that all of these exercises have such convoluted weird names when in reality it's the simplest thing ever. It's like take a weight, lift it up, that's it. Now you can go and you can do like, you know, tricep extensions on a cable machine. However, you can pretty much get exactly as good of a workout using just basic free weights or close grip bench press, another fantastic tricep exercise that simply uses free weights. So the one thing I want you guys to understand with this video is unfortunately a lot of people out there when they see us fitness social media people, they see us YouTubers, you know, they try to, especially you guys who are like new to this, uh, whether it be you're younger or you're just, you're newer to fitness, you see us and you think like, I wanna look like that guy. And I wanna emulate what he does in the gym and nutrition, everything. But the problem is maybe he has access to certain gym equipment, which I don't. And I, you know, some of you guys may think, that sucks. Am I limited? Can I build the same physique as him if I'm, you know, limited in terms of my equipment? He's using this fancy, cool, you know, cable machine and all I've got is a set of dumbbells. Well, the answer is absolutely you can. There should not be much of a difference. If you don't have access to like something as basic as like, you know, like barbells and dumbbells, then you may be kind of screwed, which is why I've talked about how body weight training only, although it's fantastic, eventually you're going to get to a point where you, you simply need additional resistance in the form of weights or machines. However, when it comes to dumbbells and free weights, you should be fine. Working out in terms of exercise selection is not nearly as complicated as it needs to be. There are way more important factors when it comes to your training program, such as volume, intensity, you know, number of sets, number of reps, frequency of training, how many times you go to the gym per week. Those things are all much more important. When it comes to exercise selection, it's like literally in terms of your training program, like third or fourth in terms of priority level. We humans, I think we try to like build ourselves up in terms of how complicated our, you know, our bodies are. And we think we're this like, you know, these precious, beautiful, unique snowflakes. Oh my God, my horoscope, I'm a Scorpio. It says that I'm gonna have a long and successful life. OMG, I am so unique and fabulous and just special. Okay, mom, screw off. You don't know what I'm going through right now. I am so special and different and there's nobody else out there like me. <sighs> nobody understands what I'm going through right now. Yeah, that's not how it works. We're not all, you know, beautiful, unique, pretty special snowflakes. We're all pretty damn simple, especially on the physical level. Our muscles, 
they can't do that many things. Take the bicep, for example. What does it do? It does a flexion, and you could also say it does a supination, which is just a fancy way of saying that it turns your wrists up. So you supinate, and then you flex the arm. Now, the tricep does the opposite. It extends the arm. That's essentially it. Bicep flexion, tricep extension, this is it. This is two muscles, and it can do two things. There's not that many complicated things. Your arm literally goes like that way, that way. It doesn't do this anything else, and if you do, it'll, you'll break your arm off. It's pretty damn simple. So if your bicep, or you know, in the case of most muscles, honestly, in your body, if it can only do like pretty much one thing, what's the point of having all these different fancy exercises? Because you know, you're doing one movement in just all these different ways. The answer is. Yes, in some cases it can help, you can specialize a little bit, for example, angles, if you want to hit upper pectorals, you want to do inclined uh, bench press, if you want to hit lower pectorals, you want to do a lot of decline bench press. However, when you change up the angles, you change up uh, like the handles, like am I using a rope, or am I using a metal bar, or am I doing dumbbells, or am I doing barbells? Yes, there are minor differences, but the key word is minor. At the end of the day, most of the muscles in our body do like literally, like I said, one thing. Bicep flexes, tricep extend, uh, quads extend, hamstrings flex. In the case of the bench press, or in the case of your chest, for example, all your chest does, there are so many different fancy kind of chest exercises, all your chest is mostly responsible for is taking your arm and bringing it across your body. That's it. Whether it be flies, or cable crossovers, or even the bench press, where the tricep is a little bit more involved because you're doing a pushing exercise. However, notice this part. It's coming over. All your body, all your chest does is it brings your arms over. Now, every muscle group in your body is essentially like that. It just does one thing. So can you attack it with all these multiple fancy exercises? Sure, but it's not necessarily 100% required. And if you are unable to do that, don't worry. Honestly, I'm pretty sure that I can build a pretty decent physique with nothing but a barbell, some weights, a squat rack, that's it. Like all these hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of machinery, that's great and it'll help. It might take my physique from like 80% to 100%, but if you don't have access to that 80%, still pretty damn good. So that's it guys, that's just a quick video I want to talk about because so many people out there, you guys, you know, you really tend to overcomplicate working out. And trust me, in some ways it is, especially when you get into things like volume, frequency, um, periodization, auto-regulation, then, you know, there is some more complicated stuff. However, when it comes to something like exercise selection, it's so friggin' simple. No matter what happens, all of us are still going to squat on leg days and bench on chest days until the end of time. So that's it guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Just a quick little vlog slash educational workout video because I get asked this question a lot so I just wanted to bury the topic once and for all. Thank you so much for watching, I appreciate each and every one of you guys and I'll see you in the next video.